Hi, I'm Nina Oyama and I'm a stand-up comedian. When I'm not telling jokes on stage, I'm telling jokes on the internet. And while I'm pretty good with words, I am terrible at graphic design. That's why I'm partnering with Punky and Billy Blue College of Design at Torrens University Australia to see if I have an artistic streak. And today I'm going to watch a tutorial by a Billy Blue grad. I don't really know what it's about, but I'm hoping by the end I'm going to be a master of InDesign. That's a graphic design program. Hi, I'm Isabel and I'm a graphic designer and I'm so excited to be here today to show you how I create a branding identity. Today I've decided to do a style guide for Nina Oyama. In order to kind of get the researching started, I had a look on her Instagram, did a little stalking and picking a little bit of inspiration, whether that be through clothing that she wears, the typography that she uses. Oh my God. If this was 2015, it would just be pictures of coffee cups and feet. Like it would be dire. After I kind of picked out a few images, I took it all into Illustrator. So it really started with the logo itself. I wanted Nina's brand to be raw, authentic, honest, and relatable, much like her comedy. So for this, I've chosen a typeface that kind of reflects that, using both the I and the O as italic to show a little bit of her quirky side. She made me a logo? This is so wild. It looks so professional. From there, I was able to take her clothing that she wears on her Instagram and start to colour match. And from there, I build a final colour palette. This is amazing. I can't believe someone has colour matched my entire wardrobe and created content from that. Like, this is so surreal. Oh my god. So once I have my final logo, my colour palette, I take it into InDesign where I start to build out my branding guideline. Space is really important when building your logo. This is something that you will learn at Billy Blue, learning how to apply a logo, whether that to be posters. In this case, I've decided to use it both on her website and on Instagram. Here you can see the whole style guide applied across her Instagram. So this is how it would work, both with the tone of voice, the patterns, the imagery, and her logo itself. This is like making me realize how bad my Instagram is right now. Like I actually was trying really hard and now I realize I have no idea what I'm doing. I've really kind of wanted to keep that bright color throughout her Instagram. As you can see on her website, I've done the opposite. So really kind of letting her comedy and her articles stand out for her and keeping the branding really simple. So once I have the website designed, I take it into a mock-up form. These will be your best friend in the communication design degree, as it really kind of shows how your design comes to life in the real world. I did notice that Nina currently doesn't have a website. So if she wants to hit me up to design it, I'm more than happy to but that's basically it that's how you design a style guide dude that is insane i can't believe does this exist what watching this process where she's like methodically gone to my instagram and like picked out the clothes and then like figured out the colors based on what i've put out onto the internet like this is really incredible also, Isabel, I will 100% be hitting you up for a website design and maybe to help curate my Instagram, maybe poster design, desktop background design. Could you just design my whole life? Because this is sick.